What's up guys, Lucas here. So this video is gonna be a little bit different than normal because I've actually never done this move before. I've actually never done a one-handed back handspring, a legit one-handed back handspring. Of course I've like hacked the makaku and stuff. I mean, tons of times, but a legit, completely over the back one hand back handspring, never done it before. So totally, those who can't do teach because I can't even do this move. And I'm gonna try to learn it right now and teach as I learn it because I feel like if you guys see me actually learn it, that's gonna be a plus to some people out there. That can help some people. So uh, let's learn the one-handed back handspring together. But you gotta focus. Now I know every, everybody's a little bit different, but the way I see it, there's like three solid ways to approach this. Number one, going from just a normal back handspring, right? So you can do a normal good back handspring, just say you can already do one. Um, and then slowly moving one hand up and up a little bit, making it a little bit lighter until you know you basically are just doing a one-handed back handspring easy right <laughs> second way i see is doing a back tuck back flip right and slowly moving one hand closer to the ground and then just you know hand touches the ground pretty much it right and then cleaning it up from there now the third way that's the way i'm going to do it because of course i'm going to do the hack way right the hack way what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to do you probably guessed it, the makaku. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly do the makaku more and more and lean more and more backwards until, boom, one hand. And then when I get it there, I'm gonna drill it a couple of times, get the confidence up. So that's how I'm gonna do it, man. Makaku works so good for everything backwards, all right? And let's put it to the use right now. All right, guys, this shouldn't be too hard, especially if you can already do a back handspring, but not to worry because the way I'm gonna do it the hack way, well basically could potentially work for anybody, even if you don't even have the back handspring already. You'll see why in a second. Once again, guys, breaking down this simple, awesome move that can help you with getting anything backwards, the makaku, all right? I literally sit like this, squat down, crab walk position. I take my dominant hand, for me that's my left hand, because I like to go over the side to my left side. I put it facing inwards. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thrust my hips up, and throw my arm over like this. <clears throat> throw up over like that. If you were having trouble getting this, I would recommend doing a cartwheel, like a wheel style like this. Doesn't have to be pretty at all. And then turning away from it a little bit like this and trying to do it more. All right, but I can already do it obviously, so I'm, I'm already all the way this way. So, oh, man, that's almost it already. I can feel it. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna slowly progress this into a one-handed back handspring by leaning more and more backwards and keeping the same amount of pressure on my palm. Man, it's cold. What's wrong with this weather? So, makaku, more over the top. Makaku, that's almost it. Then trying to jump more straight back. Oh, was that it? I felt really close. I don't know, that was pretty close. All right, so I'm gonna try to just do a back handspring, but I'm gonna lighten up, stay tight. Shoulders tight, arms tight. I don't want to get hurt. That was pretty close. It's pretty close. Work on getting more springy. The makaku, man. What a good move. I wish I made that move up, but you know what? It's a capoeira move. You know, got to give credit when credit's due. So, yeah. Let me see how good that was. I don't even know. I had to review my own footage. So that's pretty close. Um, I'll do a few more, a couple different angles. Hopefully I don't slip, because it's kind of muddy. But, uh, like that. All right, ready? Gotta do, gotta do double to one. Ready? A little sloppy, but come on, man, chill. all right it's getting there it's got work on it so a few points of precaution while practicing be sure not to jam your elbow so never really just fully lock out your elbow like that be sure you always are ready to just you know mm -mm, absorb it but don't get weak and just you know what i mean Ugh. something with the fingers something i really haven't covered about back handspring but something i've noticed is that if i'm jumping backwards and i have my fingers like this 
it makes it a lot more likely that when I come down in the back, I'm gonna jam my fingers in the ground. That can cause some serious issues like broken fingers and whatnot. So what you do is you take your hand like this and you turn it. So when I'm going over, I turn it like this. And you take your hand like this and flex it a little bit like that so you can get it rounded. So when I jump back, I almost like scoop the ground up with my hand instead of like jamming my fingers or just slamming my hand down. And that's gonna help prevent a finger break. All right, so that's it. I mean, honestly, I think that's probably the easiest way to learn it is, you know, from the makaku. That's, I'm sorry guys, sorry this is, you know, that's repetitive. You know, use the makaku, just use the makaku. But for the backyard backflipper, it's the best move out there. All right. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. More videos coming out. Got a skit coming Sunday. For those of you guys wondering, like, dude, what's with this random weird content? Well, that's just me. But skits are every Sunday. So on Sunday, be expecting something skit alike. You know what I mean? And then throughout the week, we're having tutorials, vlogs, um, you know, everything else that you probably subscribed for in the first place. But I, I don't know. You know, who knows what you subscribed for? What'd you subscribe for? Let me know. So I'm probably going to throw a few more examples, maybe just a regular back tuck, try to put my hand down, and then do the back handspring and lighten the hand up, just so I can have examples to go over the video in the beginning. You know, it's all editing, so I actually just learned this right now here, hopefully with you guys. But if you're struggling, you know, just be patient and focus. Really though, don't worry about everybody else or anything else. You can do it. Just believe in yourself, like know you can already do the move, just know you can do it. And be safe too, alright? Thank you guys for the positive feedback on these videos. More videos coming out, as I already said. Thank you guys so much. Peace, y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Testing, testing, one, two, three. It's gloomy out. A little bit of toilet paper over there. Who knows what? Just gotta do it. I'm jogging with Lucas. Whole new series. We should be talking, talking about, you know, talking about crap. Better subscribe.